This box is interesting, different, new, weird. Um, on the fence, if I'm keeping it or not. <laughs> Hi everyone, Wygo Warrior, aka Julie here, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Wygo stands for when you get old. I am soon to be 54 years old. Love and enjoy makeup, skincare, doing product reviews, beauty hauls, and unboxing videos. If you have stopped by because you're curious what is in the US November 2020 Look Fantastic box, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. All right, so it's a little late. I'm filming this on, what is it, November the 28th. I did get it a couple days ago. I didn't have time to film. This is a 21, no, nine, I think it's $19 a month box from the UK. It's very similar, like I almost question if it's owned by the same company, to Glossy Box. And you get sample, deluxe sample travel size products, and I believe there's one, possibly two full size items. So it gets shipped in an outer package. And then the inside, it will have a lovely, nice box that is that nice, sturdy kind, which looks fantastic on a shelf to store items or could be used to wrap a gift for someone and holidays are right around the corner so uh, I'm happy to have all these extra boxes alright so this is what the inside looks like it comes with nice tissue paper and a booklet now I can't recall I believe the prices are going to be in pounds so I will do some calculations thank you Google and put it on the screen once I figure out what the US price value is. Here is a sneak peek. Okay, let's see what the first item is about. What is this? I saw the word detox. This is from Nao Bay Detox Unpolluted Oxygen Light Cream. Ooh, I don't know what type of cream that is. So let's take a look and see what the booklet has to say. All right. So the Nail Bay Detox Oxygen Light Cream. Uh, full size is 50 milliliters. Is this 50 milliliters? It doesn't look like 50. Yes. Wow. 50 milliliters. And this cream is a lightweight face cream which provides intense moisture without leaving your face greasy. It's formulated with green tea, aloe vera, and raspberry to regulate your skin moisture levels and protect it from free radicals. And it says it's ideal for all skin types. All right, I'm excited to get a full-size item. Next product. What is this? All right, from Philip Kingsley, Pure Color. Brilliance Anti Frizzotis Frizz Fighting Gloss. What? Presume this is going to be a hair product. Is it color your hair? Hmm. All right, let me see what the pamphlet has to say because this one's got me a little confused. And it says work a small amount through towel dried hair. Focusing on the ends and style as required. And not sure why it's called pure color, but it will help reduce frizz. Okay, next item. All right, what is this? In transit camera close up. From this works, I do recall getting, I don't know where, which box. But this works. I remember that brand because it was an interesting name for a company. This is a mask, moisturizer, and primer in one. What? Moisturizer and primer in one I get. But a mask? Because masks you normally leave on, then take off. 
Aha! Uh -huh. All right, I am very curious to read up on this one. The pamphlet says, your in transit camera close up is a mask, moisturizer and primer all in one, erasing signs of fatigue to help your complexion look more radiant. Didn't give me much more information than I read off the tube, so. All right, on this box is interesting, different, new, weird. Um, on the fence, if I'm keeping it or not. Let's move along to the next item. Oh, I have received a product from this brand before, and I think I called it wrong. It's either Mina, or I think I called it th three INA. I think it's M I N A, Mina. And this is the matte lipstick. Please be a shade I can wear. It has black matte sleek packaging. Ooh. Well, technically, I could probably wear this. Do I want to? I don't want to offend anyone, but it's a little too hot pink Barbie doll for my personal taste. I will leave it at that. So I will set this aside for a future giveaway. Comment down below if you feel the same about such hot pink shades. I don't know if this will pick up on camera as bright as it is in person, but maybe it will look good. Hmm. We shall see. Okay, next item. This looks to be a sample of a liquid eyeliner from Ico London, and it's in the shade Pitch Black, and it says that it's smudge proof. All right, I have at least five liquid black eyeliners going, so I'm not even going to open this to swatch it, but as ubiquitous as these products are it is something I'll eventually use because I always wear black eyeliner in my makeup routine so I'm I'm not mad all right next item what is this we have from polar ice pure I have also received an item from this brand these must be very popular brands um, in the UK because I only know about these brands because I used to subscribe to Glossy Box. Um, interesting. Comment down below. It, are, do you agree? Do you think these are more European or UK brands versus, I don't know, maybe Ulta or Sephora sells them. I digress. What is this product? This here is Ice Pure Micellar Water. Oh, yes. I love my slow water. All right, I think that was everything. Yes. All right, so let's recap what came in the November box. Got a sample size of a multi-use product, which is a primer, moisturizer, and mask in one. We got a micellar water, a anti-frizz hair care product, a lipstick. A black eyeliner sample size and a full size moisturizer give me your thoughts do you feel this box is worth $19 I believe come the new year I will be canceling I learned my lesson never cancel in November because December boxes do the holidays can be spectacular and you will suffer from some serious FOMO but I think at $19 price point, you're getting five sample deluxe travel, however you want to look at it, and one full size. For $6 more, you can get five full size from uh, Ipsy or a BoxyCharm. And I wanted to give this box a try. The products are nice, but way too many travel sample sizes compared to full size. For the price point value in my opinion let me know do you agree all right i want to thank each and every one of you who stopped by to watch my unboxing 
if you are from outside the US, I'm curious if you get this box, if the products are the same, because I know with my glossy box, the items we got in the US were not as spectacular and as good as what folks in the UK got. So let me know. Is this the same or different? All right. I would love for you to subscribe, hit the bell icon, leave me a comment, and click the thumbs up. All right. Thanks, everyone.